Okay, and after those battles, uh, don't worry about the number of flasks, we can continue on to the boss, Ornstein and Smau. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but um, this is also the area where... Whoa, there. Um, sorry, lost track. If you didn't kill that one guy that kills the firekeeper that I said in the beginning. Sorry, can't think. Focusing. Um, this is also the area where you can get revenge and get a firekeeper soul. Now for this particular battle, we're going after Ornstein. It's the same with the Bell Gargoyle, or at least the same idea. Focus one. No matter which one has more health, focus one. Because as soon as you kill one of them, they're healed. I don't mean that they come back alive, that'd be insane. But I mean that in the sense that whichever one you didn't kill is now at full health again. Not going after you. Yes. No. Where's your friend? Ooh. Oh no. Smell Orenstein, you can't leave. Get back here. to start healing off of humanity already. Uh, do more damage as I go on, hopefully. I'm going to die. Oh my god. Whew. And after killing Smell, you get this guy. Or not Smell, I'm so sorry. Ornstein. I have not been on top of it. Especially after those pretty clutch moments. Now, here's my strategy for this. Fuck, I'm not gonna have enough time. Will do. Get something long, and then dance around the pillars. I hate to be cheap like this, but this is always how it goes. Lightning A isn't gonna do any good. I don't have much choice, though. This will do better. Another weapon of example would be the halberd that has enough reach.
Again, learn his attack a pattern. Or not attack a pattern. Learn his attack pattern. Kill yourself if you have to, just to get a good start. There's no shame in dying. Even though I say that now you... Yeah. However, be wary of the new super forms as they have some new attacks. You might see one of them soon enough. I am so sorry for cheaping this boss. Or cheesing it. I'm so sorry for my English today, too. Yep, here it is. I hurt. I hurt. Please no. You're done. All right. That was fairly painful, but it's been done. First try. All right. Now we can head on up and claim our prize. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Let's just go back the other way. Forget that happened. All right. 
Here's a well-deserved bonfire. But don't worry. Better's about to come. With our Estus restored, six humanity, let us claim the real prize. And that, ladies and gents, is the real prize. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end in this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Now, there is a trick to um, the Lord Vessel. You can only warp to certain bonfires in certain areas. First, that is done. Now, again, the trick to the Lord Vessel is you can only warp to certain bonfires. You can use any bonfire to warp, but you can only use it to certain ones. So, let's go ahead and actually continue the story. After warping, you are not rested at that bonfire you warp to. Keep that in mind. Otherwise, you will have to go through another loading screen. Now, the actual story, I kind of skipped over when I ran straight into uh, the fortress. Basically, we were supposed to come back here, and this guy right here was supposed to tell us to go get that Lord Vessel. But a bit skippy everywhere, so we didn't. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Serpent. King Seeker Frapt, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate, and the very reason your kind have appeared. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. This is the Firelink Chamber, for the successor of Lord... Well, that was my fault. Anyway, this is the fire, yada yada. Place the Lord Vessel.
And with that done, remember those three orange doors we just saw? Sorry. Well, now we gotta go to them and kill the three bosses, bring their souls here, and open the door. Basic summary. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. 